We got some pretty big reports right now, especially this special recipe for housing prices to drop, especially if you live in the Bay Area, which is very tech heavy, buying a crack box for like over half a million dollars and it's super tiny, came with your dog. I mean, these housing prices, even after this massive drop, is still pretty insane. And some people in the Bay Area are saying that, you know, San Jose is starting to become a little bit affordable. But let's be real, though, like 1,500 square foot for a $1.3 million townhouse. I mean, sure, it's not as bad as 2020 and 2021, but it's still pretty bad. More pain to come. Now, if you check out what's going on here, the Silicon Valley, the signature bank situation is raising concerns about contagion fears. Now, personally for me, I think the banking sector is fine, but with so many banks collapsing, fear is in the market. Okay, the banking sector's problems could lead to further damage in housing prices on the West Coast, with several cities like San Francisco already dropping double digit percentages in 2022. So get ready for another set of digit, double digit percentage drops. A lot of buyers are canceling their contracts or not going on home searches. They work in tech and they're very worried about losing their jobs. Tech usually has a sun big layoff. Okay, people are just scared of a potential recession. And guess what? If there's even a small whiff of recession or even a small smell of companies laying off massive amounts of high salary engineers, these people are not going to buy any home. And even if they do, they will only buy a home if it's extremely cheap and affordable. So the surge in tech layoffs is causing a lot of jitters. Bank failures are not happening, essentially a cherry on top, and the buyers are very scared. And this is according to a Bay Area Redfin manager. And it's not just this woman talking about it, but even Redfin report is saying a lot of big things, you know, like a lot of these home prices are dropping value. It's not just the West Coast. You also have places in Florida, surprisingly, dropping. Phoenix, Arizona is dropping the most. And especially overhyped towns during the pandemic, People were buying houses like crazy, but now interest rates are already at, you know, 6.5, 7.0% for the 30-year mortgage. And also wood, steel, aluminum prices dropping down. Wood prices have dropped from the all-time high price of February of this year. It's down about 40, 43%. So the materials are cheaper. Now we're also seeing the medium U.S. home price fell overall, finally, since 2012. So it's been about 11 years, and for the first time, home prices have actually dropped and made a significant impact. And this is huge here, and we are already seeing a lot of people slowly buying the dip. Now, one of the biggest questions I can ask is, should I buy a home now? Because people are a little bit scared that home prices may be going up and they're missing on this dip. I say this, definitely consider buying a home right now, but be careful, interest rates are super high, okay? So might as well go for a smaller home or don't do the 20% down. Do the 40% down. Get a smaller loan because of very, very high interest rates. And just please be patient and negotiate hard. A lot of these sellers in these very, very hot areas, or I guess should I say used to be hot areas, they're all willing to cut prices down another 5 7% just to get it off their hands. So negotiate hard, but also keep in mind that interest rates are high. So maybe go for the cheaper house and definitely do a higher down payment.